Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of AWS Cognito in Node.js. So today we are going to learn how to verify the email address in AWS Cognito with the help of Node.js. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So in the previous one, we have checked this, this one that the email address is unconfirmed. So we are going to learn how to verify that code so you can see that when you sign up with that email you will receive a code so i'm going to verify that code so go to the postman and add over here code let me go and add the code over here so we are going to make the cognito as a verify code so here i'm going to copy this one verify code function and we are going to add in the cognito so let's add it over here cognito this is verify code verify code Code. so here you, this is a verify code part and then we are going to add export this one module the bottom okay then we have a routes so let me define the routes also at the same moment so here we have the routes so let me add this one route over here and go and just add it over here sign up then we have a Verify code. Okay, so this is done. So we have the code. So we have to go and just add this one code. So here we are going to just restart this application. But um, our reference outer is not defined. Okay, router is not router is not there. So add this and just start this application then we have a code then in this we have to this one this is we require the user and the code right so user i need to add it over here so here we have the postman then we are going to make it user and uh, we need to require the code so i'm going to adding over here the code which i'm receiving right now okay so when you sign up, you will get to receive the code on this, that email also. So the code is 961676. Okay. So the code is this one. So let's check and uh, what's happened? Serialization issue. So let's have a look what exactly they are saying. Code is body dot required user and the code verify code and this is the code using pool username and or confirm registration <coughs> serialization exception let me delete this one user this one let me create the new one right so let me create the new user and do that part control y okay so let me create the new user with man another email id so let me add this one right so let me send this password let me switch to the that email also <coughs> let me send this one bad format name One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Why it's bad format? Something missing over here. Okay. So, serialization number value cannot be converted to the string number value cannot be converted to the string so let me replace this one royal version 1993 at the gmail.com 
send to show the number value let me check this one what exactly happening <coughs> so here we are going to do with the routes this is post code quest let's check the body I'm doing the sign up right now so what exactly the issue in that one phone number should be unique okay, let's save this and run this one go and just add it send why okay 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 fine 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 uh, because here you need to add the sign up not this because the code is different and that that route is different so let's go and just do the sign up process first sign up right and uh, this is that we have added let's send it this one so this user is created in the user pool invalid parameter exception again there is an invalid parameter exception means that the phone number sign up then we have the phone number this is sign up then we go and just check the coconator then we are going to add the phone number so add this one restart because I haven't restart the app right <coughs> okay invalid parameter exception what we have missed right now password is there this one is also there the route is sign up right the routes is sign up email user and the password name email and the password email user it should be user let's send its username basically what is missing over here let me add this console writing the console that one console dot log send this one Rajnikan, Thrall and admin123 hash so it's there so why it's showing invalid parameters name, email and the password phone number has issues but previously it's working I don't know why it's not working now I think there is an issue with the plus only so I haven't added the plus so that's the reason so it's created so I received the verification code let's verify that one with the help of the here I need to add the code so here I need to send the code also so I'm going to send the code with the code is I'm going to add a four double eight five six four okay so I'm going to verify that one sent expired code exception the code is expired no the code is latest four double okay so what we need to send it let me check the verification expired code exception okay so let me check this one <coughs> 
so we have this one sign up then verify code okay so what it requires in the routes code verify code user and the code only user and the code this should be user and that should be the code remove rest of the things let's try to send this access you can see that right and go and check the user pool if i go and just check it out check this one we have this one i'm creating a new user right now so let's have a look on that one it's status is confirmed so this is how you are able to verify the email also when you sign up you will receive the code verify that email code then you will get to know that the email is verified then you can see that email verified is yes so now you can this is how we are we are able to verify the otp you can see or verify the email code in the node shares so any doubt any query in that let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day next video we are going to learn how to change the password okay see you in the next video have a great day